In this demo, we're going to show you how easy it is to create matrix reports using the Report Builder. Let's start with a summary report, which we previously created. Here we have a report that's grouped by stage and close date, but it would be easier to see the data in matrix format. So let's convert it. We're going to change the format using the dropdown. When you change the format of a report from summary to matrix, the top level group becomes the row grouping and the second level group becomes the column grouping. But we want to see the dates going across and the stages down. With drag and drop, reordering groupings is simple. Let's click show and then drop zones so that it's easier to see. Now, we're simply going to drag close date to the column grouping drop zone. In the report builder, you can view incomplete matrix reports, reports that don't have at least one row and one column grouping. Now we're gonna drag stage to the row grouping drop zone. We've switched the groupings, just like that. Now let's clean up the view by hiding the drop zones. Notice that we don't need to show the drop zones to add groupings, it just makes it easier. To add a new summary field, drop it within the summary column. Let's drop the sum of expected revenue after the sum of amount. Notice the blue drop zones between the fields. To add another summary to an existing field, click the Summary Field menu. Let's add maximum amount. To reorder summaries, just drag. Multiple summaries on a field move together, and you can't move record count, which always comes last. To hide record count, click Show and deselect record count. Finally, let's add a custom summary formula. We'll add the revenue calculation formula, which we created earlier. Notice the single large drop zone. Formulas always come after other summaries, but before a record count. We've created a matrix report in just a couple of minutes. With drag and drop and the dynamic preview, Report Builder makes it easy. For more information, look for these topics in Salesforce help and training. And thanks for using Salesforce.